Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with DayZ. If you enjoy this video, please write to Marvel and have them create a Modest Pelican hero whose superpower is disappointing his kids, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. So DayZ in a nutshell. It's a hardcore survival game based in Russia featuring zombies and other players. You have to eat, drink, not get sick, and sometimes after you spend 45 hours getting geared, you get taken out by a sniper who you didn't even see and you you die. Forever. It's called great gameplay as nothing says fun like experiencing the closest possible thing to actual real life death. Anyway, I need to get geared up again because today we are hunting down the most dangerous game possible, other epic non-virgin gamers. A great way to find powerful weapons is to build a car and drive it to the military bases as I'm pretty sure this map is bigger than actual Russia. So part one, building a car. Kidding, my friends already have a car. I wouldn't spend hours scavenging for specific wheels, car doors and a radiator and call it quality content. Actually, nah, I probably would. The guy in the pink capri pants is my mate Dom, who opts for a vibrant summer fashion look over anything practical. A bold choice in an apocalyptic wasteland, but I think we can all agree, he looks fantastic. This is actually my first time in a car on Day Z, and it's all thanks to Maddie. She built it. If I go into first person, it looks like I'm sort of snuggling her with my legs, which makes this the second most intimate experience of my life. The most intimate experience of my life was last week when the checkout girl asked if I wanted to pay by cash or card, so I took the hint and just kissed her. It turns out she wasn't actually wanting a kiss, and she wasn't actually a woman, but still pretty hot. Uh, I've got a gift for you. Thank you. Yeah, that's a zucchini. I love gifts. <laughs> Thanks, I'd be awfully lonely lately. <laughs> <laughs> we loot the big boy military base and we're now ready to begin the hunt. While I'm finishing up, a pack of wolves find me and I can't stress how bad this is. Wolves and bears are far more dangerous than zombies, so I lock myself inside. Maddie then comes to save me and I watch on from the safety of my bunker. It's brutal to witness, she really is getting carved up out there. She should find a bunker of her own. Eventually I do go and save her. Well I guess she was only here to save me, but what I'm getting at is I think that we can all agree I'm the hero here. I'm happy with my gear, but one thing I'm missing is a pair of night vision goggles. Being able to see clearly at night in this game is so valuable. Also if you get a pair in real life, it makes watching people sleep through their bedroom windows effortless. If you're into that, which if you're not, I can highly recommend, hobbies are important. Crosby says he saw a player base earlier, and so we decide to break in and see what we can find. It takes a long time, but eventually we get in, and I kid you not, there is a pair of goggles in one of the crates. I have spent so long looking for a pair of NVGs, and then someone just leaves them in a crate. A questionable decision, but good for me. I turn them on in the day and permanently sear my retinas. I couldn't be more ready to hunt. Robbo and I jump in the most populated server we can find and then meet up. When you change servers, it drops you in a random location and it takes us literally 40 minutes to find each other. Gameplay. It's what makes PvP so intense though, that if you die, you might literally cry. All your gear, all that effort, the stakes are high. We decide to head to Electro, one of the major cities where we'll surely find a fight. The plan is to immediately kill anyone who looks dangerous, and if we find a fresh spawn, we'll make them swim out into the freezing Russian ocean. That might sound brutal, but swimming is great as it builds muscle strength, endurance, and improves cardiovascular health. Also, look at this, staying hydrated in the dark with night vision. This is the future. As we approach Electro, it starts to get a little sus. Someone's died at the water pump and there's another body in the house right next door. It's hard to tell if they starved, got sick, were gunned down or are simply taking a well-deserved nap, but we're getting close. Robbie then finds a fresh spawn and this is great as we're right near the beach and can make her take a dip. He then discharges his firearm into her chest, which just so happened to be a 12GA buckshot shotgun. 
Needless to say, I don't think he got the memo that we weren't murdering Freshborns. I have a long chat with Robbo about power and the consequences of exploiting it. In conclusion, I'm like 70% sure he's a direct blood relative of Adolf Hitler. We then notice a campfire up in the hills, which is almost certainly bait. There's probably a sniper with a night vision scope posted up somewhere, but we decide to check it out anyway. We get close and I attempt to make contact. Hello. Do not move. Robbie, don't kill them. There's two, dude. There's two. I've killed one. Robbie makes me look like the nicest gamer of all time, I swear. Anyway, given we've already engaged, we now have to treat this encounter as extremely hostile, so I move in to finish the job. I choose to third person aim, which is extremely inaccurate, but way more cinematic, and I'm all about style points. I realise he, or she, was actually friendly. Genuinely not sure if this is a 13 year old boy or a 25 year old woman, so let's just call them a gender neutral name. Steve. It turns out Steve and friend were just cooking in the forest, which is extremely wholesome but might be the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. I steal some food from the barbecue and we make our way down towards the ocean, as I told Steve there was loot there. We'll hook you up with a complete setup if you swim for uh, it. We really don't oh. want gear though, that's the thing. Let me rephrase this. I will shoot you in the head if you don't swim. But I'm gonna die anyways if I go out there, so... Either way, I'm gonna die, so it doesn't matter. Are you like a hostage please negotiator? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> just go for a swim, please. <laughs> Eventually, we convince Steve to swim by saying that we'll help them with their dream if the swim happens. And also, I won't kill them. I also give Steve a multivitamin, which basically makes you invincible. So yeah, Steve goes for it. What a strong man or woman. Anyway, Steve's dream is reuniting with the friend Robbo killed, going to the middle of Electro, and then using the town's PA system to play cringe songs to anyone in about a one kilometer vicinity. Now that's a dream I can support. The PA systems in this game are hilarious. Steve swims for way longer than we asked for, which was a really questionable decision. Who the hell swims at night during a Russian winter? Steve will almost certainly get pneumonia. The friend comes back and Robbo apologizes for shooting him for no reason. They're both pretty hungry and thirsty as it's hard to stay nourished when you first start. Sorry man, I don't have anything spare to eat. Sorry guys, I wish Alrighty. I had some spare drinks to give you or something, but I don't have any at all. That's no, okay. Oh no, you're fine. So we make a move for the PA system as DJ Steve wants to bring music to the good people of Electro. Out of nowhere, a freshborn appears and proceeds to punch Steve in the head. I really need to stop third person aiming like this, but somehow it works out well as I gun down the freshie and don't harm anyone else. I then steal his plum. Finally, the sun starts to rise and we can now move around a bit more freely. I'm going to be honest, I really wanted to hit my first collateral headshot, but I chose not to as I'm eager to see them spin some beats for everyone. Also ethics or whatever. We find the house that has the intercom and they get ready to MC. Now what you're about to witness is both the highest of highs in DayZ as well as the lowest of lows. I hope you're ready gamers. Watch me shake. Now you do stand flow. <laughs> Women are equal and they deserve respect. Yes, a man ran in with a shovel and I gunned him down as well as half our team in a panic spray. I can't not laugh when I watch this part. I'm actually so incompetent. Who gave me an assault rifle? All of a sudden, I see them breathing. Somehow they've both clung to life despite being absolutely lit up. I bandage up Robbie's gun wounds and also learn a valuable lesson. Do not spray and pray in a tiny room where most of the people are your friends. A lesson I probably shouldn't have had to learn in this way. Not all bad news though, I did get this guy and he had a garden shovel so he was clearly a massive threat to us. What would we have done if he dug a small hole outside the door and one of us had rolled our ankle? You're welcome. 
With half the squad limping around due to severe bullet wounds, their immune systems are low and they get sick. So we need to move over to the hospital. This is proving easier said than done as both zombies and other players are now flocking over to the house to end us. It's almost as if going to the town's PA system and playing sick beats in a game where both zombies and highly aggressive players who are both attracted to noise is a bad idea. Silver lining though, I'm in great shape, seriously no complaints at all on my end. I can't say the same for Steve's friend, he is just limpy McLimpface at the moment. Definitely not his day, he could be looking at his second death in about 25 minutes, both of which will have been caused by Robbo and I. So yeah, super questionable decision choosing us as travel companions. I give him one vitamin tablet which probably isn't going to help but hey, sick red hat bro. We decide these two are just dead weight and so we say goodbye and wish them the best luck for the future. And that actually turned out into quite a wholesome little adventure. Just imagine if I had connected some of those bullets when we first found them. My poor accuracy is making us friends. Literally less than two minutes later, Steve messages Robbo and says they've died. Wow, that was fast. Apparently some guy murdered them with five of his boys, all fully geared with M4 assault rifles. Immediately after Robbie reads these messages, we hear this on the PA system. Attention all. I've already taken out two of you. Only three more to go. Oh my I'm coming. I've already taken out two of you. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, probably one of the more terrifying moments in my video game career. This Batman villain sounding Malacca is literally hunting us with a small army, so we decide to just keep heading for Kamishovo. You see Robbo really wants to take out these clowns that always camp out at the police station. Also the fact Batman villain guy even knew we existed means Steve and his friend ratted us out, so thanks for that. I regret giving them one of my vitamins. We get to Kamishovo and sure enough there's a squad bunkered down in the police station but I can't seem to get a shot. The sniping is seamless on this game. The rendering doesn't even make it hard to tell what's going on at all. There's also a corpse in the hill. It looks like this one's been chopped up and half eaten. I hate it when people waste food, a starving child would happily eat that. The guys in the police station are being careful not to go near windows, so we decide to just move in for the kill and the content. Immediately we are swarmed by zombies which is just awful as it makes it incredibly obvious where we are. I'm now low on blood too. Robbie then gets sniped from god knows where and a follow up shot hits the fence behind me. Now no one kills my mates, it's time I get revenge. Kidding, I run for my life. There's a squad of six angry boys 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 out to kill me, a sniper in an unknown location who knows exactly where I am, I've got night vision goggles I don't want to lose, I'm low on blood and not particularly good at this game. Sometimes you've got to read the room and I can tell if I spend another second in this town, I'm a dead man. If we're going to successfully take over Kamishovo, I need to come back with my own boys 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 and do it properly. I mean I'm happy I made someone swim, that was my goal, but next video we are taking over Kami and making it our own. Also Stealtho Robbo has a YouTube channel now, so if you're hunting down some fresh videos to watch, I know he'd love to see you there. Link in the description. Thanks for watching you absolute legends and a massive thanks to those who support the channel through Patreon. Until next time and as always, stay classy.